Light on set. 1,100 metres of the journey, the gates open, away they go. Extolment was one of the first to show his head. Beginning pretty well, Colhoun closer to the inside and Canton Kid wants to be right up there, pushing forward, Torchbearer just off him. Intimidating, must be Moe goes out the back. So approaching the 800 metre mark, Canton Kid having to work on the outside of Colhoun who was able to hold the advantage on the inside. Tracking up Intimidating, gets into a nice third and then Extolment, Torchbearer back to fifth now down the side and must be Moe's about to tack on. So working towards the Five Colhoun first up this afternoon travels okay at a head in front of Canton Kid, the favourite. Intimidating pushed along in third but holds his position before the turn. Extolment torchbearer with a bit to do. Must be Moe taking on coming wide. Top of the straight, 300 to go. Colhoun, Canton Kid. Canton Kid going to Colhoun who's trying to respond. Deeper out, intimidating torchbearer is running on fair. Extolment must be Moe. Canton Kid got the lead. Colhoun the inside trying to fight back but Canton Kid, the favourite, pulling out plenty close to home. Getting home late must be Moe, but Canton Kid goes on to score, wins it by two on the line, or make it a length and a half, two on the line, to maybe Colhoun, just in front of a fast finishing, must be Moe, but that is a photo, and then Torchbearer, intimidating, and extolment the last to clock in. Canton Kid, number four, first up this afternoon for Gary Lafoe, Jared Todd in the saddle, set outside the lead, Colhoun, who ran really well first up this afternoon, but he just got tired late, must be Moe's closed off late, but Canton Kid strong to the line. Takes out race number three, the up and down for Bogey Handicap. 103.87 the time. And number four goes into the frame. Second, two Colhoun just hanging on. In front of it to be six, I'd say. We'll get that confirmed. It's confirmed now. 4.26 must be Moe in third. Spots come from well back. One and three quarters a neck. 103.87 for Canton Kid, a three year old chestnut gelding, written tycoon, Marla's son, owned by Miss S. Kramer and S. Wu, trained by Gary Disco Lafay, who comes off the Alice Springs Cup win last week with I Am the Fox, and written by Jared Todd, a double on today's card. Now, fourth goes to one torch bearer, and fifth goes to five, intimidating. 42615, one and three quarters a neck the margin. Second two, Cole Hoon, a five year old brown gelding, Delago Deluxe, Raw Edge for Phil Cole. Vanessa Rana, and third goes to six, must be Moe, a five-year-old Bay Mare, Equiano, Moe Dancer, Nicole Brueggemann, and Jess Philpot. Fourth to one, Torchbearer, as I mentioned, and fifth going to five, intimidating. Last four, in fact, last two, 12.47, we'll confirm those sectionals shortly as we wait for winners to return. Ladies and gentlemen, winner returning down the race, a double for Jared Todd this afternoon. And this horse at start seven makes it two wins now and a minor placing prize money up towards the $40,000 mark. And looks a nice little top by, and tight by Ritten Tycoon, who's made the best possible start to its Darwin campaign. Stand by for correct weight.